Hearthstone Twist has introduced a new season and it is a ball, especially if you love Death Knight and Arthas. In order to enjoy the new twist mode, you literally need one card. That's right, you heard me correctly. Each hero has a special hero power as well as a permanent aura enchantment, unique only to this twist format that grants these heroes special unheard of synergies that are up to you to discover. There are 19 pre-built playable decks in this mode, and to gain access to these decks, all you need is the corresponding legendary. If you own Patches the Pirate, you have access to the Patches hero with his unique pirate deck. If you own King Crush, you gain access to the Big Beast King Crush deck. And his 6 mana gain 8 attack hero power. And if you own Leroy Jenkins, which everybody in the game was given for free at the beginning of this rotation, then you have access to the Leroy Jenkins Aggro Paladin, as well as five other heroes, which means you can enjoy Twist right now. The previous seasons of Twist were haunted by two main issues. One, the most prominent issue being the barrier of entries to casual players due to most players being unable to craft full decks. And two, egregious meta balancing issues. To address the first issue, Blizzard actively listened to community feedback by greatly reducing the barrier of entry for casual players by once again allowing everyone to enjoy Twist if they own one legendary card. And to address two, Blizzard is taking a new approach to Twist this season. Hearthstone game designer Celestalon has made claims that weekly balance changes will be made if decks happen to get out of control. And currently, there is one good boy with a very good win rate that might need to be adjusted a little. Or a lot. Or may maybe, maybe a lot a lot. So if any balance changes need to be made, they will be coming sooner rather than later. And if you're worried about hackers... Dude can eat the biggest part of my Blizzard has already taken steps to combat this by working overnight on midnight on a Sunday to prevent these cheaters and these cheats from working and banning the bad actors responsible with promises of future ban waves if the problem persists. But I truly believe that Blizzard is finally going in the right direction in making Twist fun and accessible to the player base. And if you're interested in trying the new Twist format for yourself, I have included a couple highlights showcasing my first games experimenting with the new heroes. And there will also be an article in the description from Hearthstone Top Decks that dives into the heroes and deck lists in greater detail. So go on, start playing some Hearthstone Twist. The best boy in Hearthstone is waiting to play with you. And as always, thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this intro, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh no, wait a minute. What's going on here? Immediately into some mirrors? I mean, I chose Rainbow DK because it's 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 Rainbow DK. I gotta I gotta make this happen. Wow, just going for this for the OP one immediately. Okay, I have done I have done zero research. I have done zero research. I have no idea what anything does. I'm just, uh, my aura is just so threatening. What can I say? Okay, well, uh, I guess I'm a twist god. There's just nothing to say. Okay, so what even is my hero power? Cthulhu starts uh, in your hand after two friendly minions die. Give your Cthulhu plus one plus one. Okay, so token based deck that makes big OTK. After you play a Frost Rune Excavate, swap to Unholy, Le Legendary Treasures are random. Okay, well, it's a good thing I kept the Frost card. So everybody has like a special ability and a hero power. Discover a follower of Cthulhu. Spend up to three corpses for each. Reduce the cost of a card in your hand. Okay, so let's play the Frost Rune card. It Excavates. AoE against the token deck seems like a good idea. Get a rock. And now it goes unholy. So now after I play an unholy card, it excavates. Okay. So it cycles through them. 
Oh, and it also highlights the cards in my hand too. Okay, good job. Good job design. Makes it very easy to see. So I don't have to remember the order. Well, it's still important to, th to think about the order, especially with the multi rune cards. I almost don't want to kill the, the, the minion. Because then he gets more minions. And then he gets more value. I don't want him to have more value. I want him to have less value. The highlight is missing, missing from your opening hand for the first excavate. Isn't it funny how bugs like that happen? Where it's like, everything works except the first one. Like, how does how does that even work when you're... I, I don't know anything about coding. Alright? All cards on the table. I don't know anything about coding. So it's just kind of funny to me. It's like, oh yeah, everything works except the first one. Like, I, I don't even understand how that begins to happen. Okay, hold on a minute, bro. Con Whoa, what the fuck? Dude. I mean, it's a good thing I have an AoE, but I found this randomly. All right, well. Wait, hold on a minute. The based meat grinder into hero power. Spend other three corpses reduce uh, for each reduce the cost of a card in your hand by one. So it's three separate cards getting discounted. Okay, so we actually should start building some corpses then. We corpse, we hero power, we, we, we throw rock. Throwing rocks and leveling up our, our team, so to speak. Yeah, Pokemon. I'm just going to go with that. It's a Pokemon reference. All right, here we go. And honestly, this could get hit, and then it could help me with the uh, the excavates. Oh, it could bounce between them? Oh, yo. I looked at the new items in the shop. It's so laughable how they uh, try to monetize the twist season. I haven't even looked at the shop, so I'll have to look at it before I have any opinions on it. But honestly, dude, if you think about it, though, all you need is one legendary to play the deck. Like, that's a big W in terms of, uh, you know, player uh, value. Wait, dude. Hold on a minute. Turn six Primus, hello? That's value. This is like what I wanted this card to be. Remnants of life. Okay, weapon, sure. Getting a corpse seems a little unnecessary. Next card is blood. So it'll be blood then fro- Oh, dude, we're about- Wait a minute, and now that the Primus is already on the field? Oh my god, when it dies, I bring it back with the rat. Oh. Oh my god. We are Twist Gamer, dude. Yes, we are Twist Gaming now. And now that I have the, the Howling Blast to counter this too? Dude. <laughs> They need to have a Plague of Flame or the Mutual Destruction. Wait, what do you mean Mutual Destruction? Oh, you mean, uh, oh, Plague of Flames, you mean. The card that, uh, that kills your me. Honestly, Plague of Flames would be really good here. Okay, so let's play the Blood card first. Foam Render? I don't think I have enough corpses to support that, but it's also just a 6-2 weapon. Oh my god, this actually feels ridiculously broken. Oh, wait a minute. I should I should have done the Primus ability first. I, I was so caught up in the value. I didn't even think about the Primus. You know what? Hold on a minute. We do this, and then we buff another one of them. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Another foam render. Wait a minute. Game four. Oh, dude. Okay, I could, I could start to see why this deck might be a little broken. I only cast the hero power one time. I don't even feel like I did that much. And it was every the Oh, no, they do have it. Oh, they do have Plague of Flames. Oh, then, then that guy was telling me that he definitely did. Oh, wait, that's a lot of buffs. Wait, can they discount the Cthulhu somehow? But wait, I could just bring him back, though. I could just literally bring back the boy. So, pick the Plagues. Now we can start utilizing the hero power. Uh, discount. Oh! Do this. Oh, if anything, I'm gonna have too much value, dude. Uh, wait a minute, I could discount my next spell. Oh my god, we could just maybe kill him next turn. Let's go for more value. Symbol of death. Anti magic shell. Ooh. Sure. We'll kill that.
have too many things I can do. I don't. I just don't even know where to begin. All right, yeah, this 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 deck is actually maybe a little bit broken. Like you guys literally <laughs> dangling this carrot in front of me, expecting me not to pick it. That's a pretty big Cthulhu, though. It's a pretty large Cthulhu. But I have I have some news for you. Uh, it doesn't matter. This is a this is actually absurd. This is this is ridiculous. Uh, uh, uh. The value act. This is infinite value if you think about it. Like this deck's value actually is infinite. Like you bring back the Primus every single time, it gives you a missing rune. You keep excavating. You keep bringing back the Primus. This deck literally has infinite gas. And, and you also have climactic necrotic explosion. This this deck is literally it's not even a car, it's just the gas it, it's just the it's just the the gas tank. Br Hello? Dude, I love Norse Dormu and this it, look at that chiseled that, that chiseled chin, bro. I don't even know what you do, but I'm already interested, bro. Draw a dragon, it costs one less. You start with extra mana crystal, you you only have 30 sec- Okay, hold on. We're playing Norse Dormu right now. I also didn't real- This guy's ripped! Dude, Norse Dormu is actually just the Giga Chat of Hearthstone. Like, hold on a minute. I want to play that one song now. Alright, I don't know what I'm supposed to keep at all, man. But this guy's literally the Giga Chat of Hearthstone. <laughs> just bronze dragons things? What? Are his abs made of bronze too? All right, is this uh, the place without Reno where we can complain about Reno? No, dude, we're not going to complain about Reno because he doesn't exist. Reno is literally a social construct made up by Hearthstone to sell more, to sell more packs. Wait a minute. Does this work for both of us? And also, this doesn't feel like 30 seconds. I thought this was 15 seconds. Okay, I draw a dragon. It costs less. Let's go. Okay, damn it. Apparently, the chat is trying to, trying to censor Dilf, and I will not allow it. Because yeah, canonically Dilf material. Yes, I agree. I I have I have no uh, no horses in this race, but yes, certified Dilf. Okay, so my it's it's only what, why do I only have thirty seconds? What can this deck do that they would have to make it only thirty seconds? Like, or is this just flavor? I feel like there there's something they're not telling us right now. Does anybody else get that impression? You have extra mana at the start? Yes, but that, I don't think that's a reason to to cut my turn in half. The reason to cut my turn in half is if there's some kind of like weird APM combo. Like I'm trying to go beyond. Are they doing this for fun, or are they do? Are they doing it for flavor, or is there like a reason? Like why wasn't it 15 seconds? Why is it 30? Se why isn't it 45 seconds? You know, are these things that were considered? I am I am trying to figure that out. Like if you're somebody that like wraps a present and the the out like it actually looks like the present when you've wrapped it, bro, you've already gotten rid of the the mystery, bro. It's the extra mana. One extra mana I don't feel like is a reason to cut your turn in half. I feel like there might be more, but let let me let me just let me just believe. Let me gaslight myself, okay? Oh, wait a minute. Equal to its attack? Goodbye. Also, 5 mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, to, the, to a minion's attack. Oh. Oh, I can't read, apparently. One extra mana is one of the strongest effects in the game. It's not flashy, but it's definitely powerful. Well, okay, I can definitely understand that. I can understand that. But kind of like what I'm saying is that, like, an extra mana... Like, you have more things to consider, I guess. So that does limit, you know, what you can do. You're more likely to make the first turn. But imagine if there was, like, an APM turn. That was so good that you're like, oh, shit, your turn's gotta be 30 seconds because it's so easy to set this up. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think it's possible, but then again, I haven't looked at the deck, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking theoretically here. Theoretical Hearthstone is the best Hearthstone. Any twisters in chat? We'll, we'll twist my leg, why don't you? 
I, I could I could say to twist something else, but I, I have to, I I don't I don't know how to make that funny. Is uh, this a dev in chat right now? Yes, there are actually two devs in chat right now. We got Death Tech and Celestalon. So everybody, everybody say hi. Everybody say hi, Hearthstone, because they literally are Hearthstone. Wait, there's a third one here? Wait, who else is here? Who did I miss? He left? Get him back in here. I have to say hi, and then he can leave. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. The devs are watching. <laughs> For soon, they give me dev powers tomorrow? Is that the power of the check mark? That has to be. Because I don't get a pay increase for getting this check mark. I just get more credibility. And I don't know, man. I, ca I, can't, I can't eat credibility. If I would, I'd, I'd be dining like a king every night. Okay, hold on. This takes away my, my advantage. But Alex Straza, that, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, Alex Straza, nice, bro. Okay, all right. Sure, I don't need to do anything else here. We got, we got, we got the Alex tag team, dude. I'm also Elm and Alex in chat, dude. <laughs> Hi, thanks for developing Hearthstone. I love it. Hi, Dev. See, that's the way to do it, Funk. That's the way to do it. All right, do I win? Do I, do I win with my hot dragon dilf? Oh, wait a minute. No, that's taunt. Wait, no, that's not taunt. That's just cultivation. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was drum circle for a second. Okay, it's not lethal yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Bro, who remembers how good this card was back in the day? Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I don't remember, uh, these cards. Wait, it's like flame strike, fireball, and yeah, polymorph. So always fireball. At the same time, an AoE could be really good. But I already have a lot of AOE tools, so we'll just go with the fireball. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alex draws a face. Let's go, dude. Dragon Priest Kibler uh, spamming it feels strong. Hello, devs. I very much enjoy the Hearthstone digital card game. I'll accept the next pre-order bundle at my battle that address. <laughs> you, you know what? You know what, Nim? You know what, Nim? Maybe if Konami doesn't treat you right, maybe Blizzard can. All right. Wait, what does this thing do? I didn't realize what he what he does. After you summon a tree ant, adapt it randomly. Oh, okay, it's adapting. That's what's going on. Is the next expansion a beach episode? What is what is beach episode? Do you mean bleach like the anime, or you mean like everyone's going to the beach? Like, I, I don't, like, whenever, whenever I, hear, I, he, I see episode and I see beach, I immediately think bleach episode. Exactly. All right, so it's an episode of, of bleach on the beach. Uh, okay, cool. I'm caught up now. All right, well, that is lethal, right? Oh, okay, yeah, I got, I got Omega lethal here, dude. I don't know, dude. I didn't really, I didn't really see the rope. This is just how I game. Like this, this is just play Hearthstone with extra mana crystal. That's it. Well, well, welcome to Twist, dude. Absolutely freaky, dude. Wait a minute, eight attack? All right, all right. You, you've intrigued me. I should very much be looking at the passives again. Done. No, no research. The hero power isn't the important part here. All right, if I knew what the passive did, it would affect the mulligan. I want to keep the king crush because he's king. And if we got a six mana hero power, there's got to be some amount of, of mana cheating, right? I don't know. My gut instinct is telling me to keep the king crush. This might this might punish me, though. But we're going to do it. All right, okay, hold on. Shravala? Wait a minute, the deck tracker already has like all the cards in here. Dude, let's go. I can actually see all the cards. Ty Tyrannus. Job done. Oh no, deck tracker's actually getting in the way. After you cast a spell, reduce the cost of a beast in your hand. <gasps> I low rolled the Shravala, if you think about it, but I was a genius keeping the King Crush. Why do I just understand exactly what to do in this game? Mm -hmm. I'm so smart. Think about that, dude. 
I saw the six mana hero power. I'm like, this has got to be a big deck, which means it's got to be big mana cheat. And they're, I'm so smart. God damn it. Why am I so smart? Ooh, call pet. Okay. Let's go, dude. Discount the king crush. He's actually a genius, dude. Thank you, Micaiah. Somebody understands my genius in my time. I heard Cthulhu's hero power is garbage here and Arthas is most OP. Arthas does appear to be very, very broken. Ooh, that's a play for next turn. Six mana king crush. I am a Hearthstone mm. artist. How is he just accidentally this good at the game, bro? <laughs> a picture of Arthas with the Arthas helmet is just super cute. It is very cute. I, I, I need I need the helmet for my dog. Not not even for me, but for my dog. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do this because mana cheating is just really good. Two mana King Crush. Okay, three mana, three mana Wing Guardian also seems pretty good. So now there's like a possibility of like, you know, hero powering every turn to deal the damage with my face as I play like zero mana big minions. And then we have, I'll do, just imagine if I didn't have Shrivala in my hand. This is like, I imagine the patches in your deck, right? If this wasn't eaten up all the discounts. Ooh, okay, wait a minute. That's actually really good for this turn. Nice, one mana war bear. I think I just gotta spend mana. All right, here we go. Here we go, we got, we got big stuff. Cthulhu is just a token deck uh, from what I've seen. I mean, yeah, it's a, to it's a token deck because when two minions die, Cthulhu gets plus one, plus one. So that is already a lot. That is that is a lot is a lot. Especially if you're like, I don't know if it has like expendable performers or something like that, but imagine if it has like a bunch of rust stuff. Oh, oh wait, I don't have battle cries. That's just a five, five. Wait a minute, draw all of the, I don't know if I want to draw all three of my beasts. Mash button and start killing him. Next turn, I can mash button into this and I can mash button into that. That's a lot of damage over the course of the game, bro. I'm gonna do it. All right, bro, come at me. I'm, 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 a, I'm a king. Just tempo king, dude. Exactly, we go face. This is just fancy hunter. But our hero power is deal eight instead of deal two. But if you, if you really read the text of this, it says deal eight to the enemy face. Gains uh, eight attack, but you can only attack enemy phase. Tempo King, no Tempo King crush. I really wanted the Tempo King crush, but the turns wave perfectly, man. And we're, we're, we're bobbing and weaving, dude. Bobbing, bobbing and weaving. That's how, that's how you win. I thought Arthas was broken, dude. Hold on a minute, I, I shouldn't speak too soon, but if I win this game, I don't know. Am I just a pro gamer or is Arfus just, you know, overhyped? All right, uh, let's do this. Cause honestly, I don't care if he could somehow bounce this. I don't think he can. Hero power King Crush for lethal, bro. I want this kept King Crush to prove how smart I am. How smart I am. A me, me am smart. Oh, we got a scorpion. That's actually really good to get. Most of the cards are gonna cost one mana. No, you didn't let me play my King Crush! I was gonna double crush him, dude! Ah, oh, what the dog doing? Getting eaten by the dinosaur. Oh my God, dude. Arf is defeated, dude. Am I just a pro gamer? I think I'm just a pro gamer, dude. Most people probably wouldn't have spotted that hero power line. They just would have greeted out their cards. What's, uh, what's, uh, what about Rafam? Discover a spell that you're, uh, from your opponent's class that costs three or less. Wait, how exactly does this work when when cards have multiple classes they can pull from? Or like a card like Cthune, for example. Cthune is literally a a, uh, a neutral card. One of these uh, heroes has its own set class. So I imagine Warlock, Shaman, Demon Hunter, Paladin, would Kael'thas be mage? Mouse over the passive for each of them. Oh, okay. So, yep, mage. Druid. Well, okay. All right. Now that makes sense. Things you don't notice, man. Like, I literally didn't even notice the, uh, the, the color on the card. I was just reading the effect and it just completely went past me. All right. Let's play, let's play Rafam. 
uh, the HS devs are watching Clark stream uh, closely uh, to prove. Uh, in order uh, to wait, in order to Clark proof uh, Clark proof the UI. Wow. Next patch, there will be hundreds of arrows expl and explanations through the twist format. See, you want you want to know something I get a lot of flack for? You want to know something I got a lot of flack for? I, I I get told that I don't learn things fast enough, and it's like you know what? Let me let me let me let me have my time. Let me have my my four mana lotheb. I'm already applying it, bro. Oh, yo, Thorson. Okay, so this is just oops only legendary deck. Wait, what is going on here? So I can find other cards for my opponent. So you have spells. You okay, hold on. Here we go. This is balanced. Ooh. A 108k dust deck. So you just build up the spells. Oh, I could Finley if I wanted, but I feel like this hand's like actual gas. Okay, well. Interesting. How is... How is... Is it because it looks like a crab? I, I mean... Explosive sheep at least have parts of sheep on it. I don't know if this hat. What does this have? Crab legs? Intru I mean, okay. I get it. As in, I get the card, but I don't get why this is technically a beast. I guess it is just a robot crab, but still, it's not actually a crab. I, 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 I guess Kanotron doesn't have it either. Okay, sure. Sure. I don't agree with it, but sure. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if I want to give him too much mana, but I can take advantage of this as an extra two mana on my turn. You know, I've never actually looked at Snip Snap to notice that it's a crab. Like, I'm not even kidding, dude. I just look at Hearthstone cards and I don't even realize what they are, dude. It's shaped like a beast. It's a beast, pure and simple. This is a beast. This is literally a beast. I mean, it, it, it is literally a beast. I mean, you're not wrong. It is a beast. It is a sculpture of a beast. <laughs> and before you ask, this is Crypto the Super Dog. If you're wondering why it's on my desk. <laughs> Are you my master? Okay, hold on a minute. So this will be two mana when I after I play it. Ow. Alright, hold on. That was a good turn. I gave him a little bit of extra mana, but if I could stick like a Lotheb, the Lotheb Karen maybe, Lotheb Karen uh, or, or Lotheb Moodfang Mulch could also be pretty good. Are you my master? They are all just assets to you, huh? <laughs> no. Okay, I'll get my board back. It's fine. And hold on a minute, this deck has a lot of spells, doesn't it? No! Stop that. Might have to kill that. Oh, Astalor Chain, one mana less. Wait, three mana less if you think about it. Alright. Hopefully this random card isn't something completely stupidly good. Planning on climbing with Shaman this month? Uh, with this month uh, do you think I should do Highlander? Highlander Shaman, I don't know how good it is. I personally am not the person to ask how good or how bad a Reno deck is, because I'm going to tell you not to play it. Uh, but if you want to play Shaman, you can play Nature Shaman. It seems to be a good deck, if you know what you are doing. I mean... What's the worst thing that could happen? This could actually be really good with the Snip Snap. Yoink.
Yo. I mean, I was, I was, I was kind of hoping the Yogg would get hit for memes, but this was probably better. I mean, Moonfang also could have been kind of crazy. I mean, I said what's the worst thing that could happen, and apparently the worst thing that could happen is that my opponent automatically loses the game. <laughs> I don't, I don't even want to trigger Yogg now. He did his job. I am not going to poke the bear. I am not going to poke the bear anymore. Okay, hold on a minute. How much damage is this? Guys, do you think it happens? Do you think it happens? Because it's in his hand, right? It's literally in his hand. Damn it. Okay, okay. All right, it didn't happen. We didn't do it to him this time, but next time he better he better count his blessings. All right, well, next turn we'll kill him. Y'all could have theoretically casted Pyroblast, but I'd rather him not bomb their nuke of the board in some way. I feel like just just don't poke the bear. Don't poke the bear. We won the game. All right, well. Yeah, because this is the Cthulhu, right? Yeah, Cthulhu starts in your hand. It'd be so funny if we mutanus it away, though. Very tragic. Poke the bear. I'm poking it. The bear is asleep. But the bear did his job, dude. Okay, we have only lost with Zyrella so far. We are, we are, we are, do, what, what is this? Like the, the twist challenge now? Is this also going to be a raw in video? All right, let's see. And lifesteal? After a friendly character attacks, reduce the cost of a fell spell in your hand by one. This is probably not that strong, in all honesty. At least like compared to like the other synergies. Discounting fell spells can be crazy, but like what are the fell spells? Wait a minute, Kalthos is okay. So, Arfis is by far the popular, most popular at twenty four percent. The Lich King actually has a really good win rate, even though it doesn't have a lot of games. Like, where can I find uh, this? How do I find this for Twist? Copy a fell spell. Okay, so it's the meta tab. It's the meta tab. Okay, I don't think I've ever used the meta tab on Donkey. Should we just do a, a legend grind with twist? How long would that take? Cause that'd be perfectly fine with just playing Arfis a bunch. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Alright, let's just start discounting the fell spells. We also have chaos creation, dude. Wait, why did two get discounted? Uh, oh, that's after friendly characters attack. Oh, it's friendly characters. It's not just my face. Okay, that's actually kind of huge. Copy before reducing, curious. Uh, because, I mean, good point, actually. I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. I mean, I guess it, I mean, it, it, it does, it did matter. It did matter, because now I have more expensive cards taking up more, uh, more discounts. Somebody asked about a good, uh, standard DK deck. Uh, there will actually be a video coming out about that later today on YouTube. But Reno Rainbow DK is what the next video on, uh, YouTube is going to be. Should Blizzard fix Arfis? They already will be fixing it. Also, wait a minute. This with the hero power? Or this with the discounts? Also expendable? Oh my god, dude. The synergies. I might be able to just throw everything to his face. So his next, uh, maybe that was the time to do something with like this. I don't think it was playable though, cause like it was like six mana. I had to discount it. So now these minions can attack. Wait a minute, this will discount as well. Oh, oh, I'm seeing some lines here, dude. Burning Jace, please God no. Please let one thing not happen, and it'd be exactly that. Okay, let's go. So we theoretically have 10, 16, 16, 20 in hand. If all of this could go face. Hold on to this for now. 
Once I play this, though, all these cards are effectively zero. <laughs> It'd be super hilarious, though, to play all these cards for zero to immediately follow it up with Jace, though. I think Kel'Thas is fun, too, uh, but too many stinky spells. Kel'Thas is one of the most popular ones, according to, uh, according to Donkey. So we definitely have to try that at some at some point. That might be the one we do next. A? I don't want this getting discounted or this getting duplicated. I'm gonna wait on this for now. Cause I okay, you know, I can actually manipulate this. The way that I can manipulate this is that the card that I want to copy can be the last spell that I play. So we just go face, we reduce his life total. We'll do this next turn. Shadow the Hedgehog OST. Someone in chat uh, wanted this song in the playlist. And honestly, it's a banger, so I can't say no to it. <laughs> exactly, now I'm thinking the felt, dude. I just gotta not die. In fact, I can do this into this and discount another spell. So let's see, four, five, seven. So anything that's seven or less, my entire hand is gonna be free. But the big question is the board, or the big issue is the board. Wait a minute, start with the Sigil of Flame? I don't think it's Load the Chamber. I actually think it's Sigil of Flame because it's AoE going into the next turn to set this up. That's actually a lot more important. Wait, hold on a minute. Was that just lethal? No, no, it wasn't. It was 20. But there might um, there, there might have actually been a reason to go for it. Just to throw these, at least. There might have been an argument just to throw these. Okay, that's actually that's actually crazy. God damn it. Oh, dude, wait a minute. Yeah, we were, we were a little bit off. And it's really annoying that he got one of the only ones that heals him. Okay, I think this is lethal. Why did that get put in my hand? It's so close. Please don't copy the infestation. Okay. So if he just didn't gain that extra health, we would have been fine. Is there ever a world where we just random the five drop and it kills him? I don't even know what five drop could kill him. It just it would be Leroy. I think we just we we could potentially yellow it next turn, but we don't do it now. Doom Guard would be another one. Doom Guard would definitely be another one. I might I, we have we maybe have to yolo it. We might actually have to yolo it. Fingers crossed. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of terrifying. I mean, two damage does it, dude. That's a multi strike. That's a chaos strike. Oh wait, no, that'll just do it right there. Wait a minute, that just does it right there, dude. One, two, three. Ah! Ha 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 ha! always has three chaos creations. No, I made a copy with Grave Defiler. All right, all right, not bad. All right, we beat Arthas. That's all that matters. We're, we're beating up on those Arphuses. Kael'thas is basically duels mage. I want to. I, I feel like I want to keep cards that add stuff into my hand. So I'm gonna keep the Babylon book and the Prismatic. All right, what's the hero power? Cards that did. Oh, yep, yep. Cards that didn't start in your deck cost one less. At the start of your turn, you get a playable spell discarded at the. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Also, this into um, Insta 2 1 drops. 
That actually might have been better for a turn one. <laughs> alright, alright, I guess we'll excavate. <laughs> oh my god, wait a minute, dude. This is crazy. Look, just look at how many playable turns I have here, man. Okay, all right, there we go, dude. <laughs> random and a random mana cheat. This is my this is my favorite, honestly. I love random mana cheat. Discard my lowest spell. Okay, so I can discard the the arcane bolt. This is actually in the deck? Yeah, this is actually in the deck. Wait a minute, is there discard synergy in this in this deck? I guess we can just always discount this. Stampede, Ew. Oh, so we do have discard synergies. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Huge and evil. It's kind of funny how this card ended up eating some nerfs, though. <laughs> oh, this card is now a 2-1 a, a, a instead of a 2-2. Two, two. Hunter's Mark, okay, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> the art on this. I guess this could be really good later on. There might have been an argument to play this, but I didn't want this to discard this already. So there might have been a possibility that I ended up discarding a card just to still buff this only a little bit. Okay. Dude, this is the most nothing that I've seen this deck do so far. It's a really silly mirror match. Oh, I, I bet this is a really weird mirror match. <laughs> I mean, because it's just random nonsense into random nonsense. Mana bar. Oh my god. Use your head. This thing will never die, by the way. Just gonna try and leave him with as much as I can. I, I just as much nothing. This just goes to show, dude. Ran random will find a way. Random just finds a way in Hearthstone. Covers the time completely broke. Discard lock and twist in a while, which uh, which is an accomplishment. I mean, here's the thing with discard. Discard is either trash or it's great, because the moment that you can start discarding s certain cards, those are the only cards you're discarding. You know, like Fist of Jaraxxus, for example. Fist of Jaraxxus was, was a garbage card at one point. It, would, it never saw play. But then they decided to make it to where, like, it would be the only card that ends up getting discarded. That or, like, Hand of Gul'dan, for example. They made Matron and Hand of Gul'dan. Like, I don't mind the idea of discard, but the way that it's always worked out is that if you can't tutor the discard, it is really bad. Oh, Flint could just win the game. Uh, I need uh, three damage, Flint. And it's also discounted, if you think about it. Good job, Flint. Very good job. Very good job, Flint. Perfect. Perfect job. We lit the fire on the Demon Hunter. Or on the Death Knight. There we go. Okay. Alright, we climbing with everything. The 4-2 uh, Classic should be good for this. Wait, what for two? No, this isn't Whizbang. This is Twist. I don't know. I feel like a randomly getting a GG. You can't win the game anymore. It feels awful. Yeah, but that's the only matchup where it can happen. There's no other deck that can excavate. Again, it sucks, but like you can't focus on that being uh, the norm. And Arfus is gonna get nerfed and all this kind of stuff. So it's like. Yeah, dude. Oh, Cult Master. Yeah, Cult Master and the, and the Cthulhu deck would slay. It would be redonkulously good. Wait, hello? Six drop on... Six drop on turn three? 
Do I want to spend my corpses that way? I actually don't know. Getting like a bunch of malignant horror seems a lot better. All right, so we'll go for the arms dealer into coin uh, arms uh, into coin malignant horror. I don't think we eat. I don't think we ever go for the uh, minus one damage. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> Got important things to do, such as spending corpses. Yeah! And now we have corpse farm value next turn. Oh my god, dude. Wait a minute. Lich King is definitely not bad. Why is barely anybody picking him, though? Okay, this warrior is kind of living the dream right now. But last time I played warrior, I just died to vanilla stats. We're just gonna out tempo him. Cause I got a four four that's essentially summoning eight eight in stats every single time it sticks. This is why I love Malignant Horror, dude. This is just my favorite Death Knight card that they've ever made. I want this card back, damn it. Ooh, that's actually really good. Cause now my horrors are dead. But that means the rest of the board survives. So now once I play the the, the oh my god, dude, this is crazy good. I mean, then again, we're going up against Warrior, so everything is going to feel better in comparison. Yeah, I miss Malignant Horror too, dude. Bring back the horror. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like dude like what are you what are you gonna do against this i literally have to draw nothing but bombs that's like the only hope that, that he has i have to draw literally nothing but bombs okay wait there ain't no way my cards are green So spend three, summons a three, three. All right, there we go. This, this is just undead DK in all honesty. All the play testing uh, led to this. So uh, enjoy it until the weekly, twi the, the weekly tweaks happen. I don't know, dude, these decks at least feel really fun. The only one I didn't have fun with was warrior. And that's just because of typical shuffle, you know, nonsense. It's not even about the the the, the deck or the or the uh, the class or the, the like. This has nothing to do about it being like bad or anything. It's just I don't like the idea of shuffle mechanics being the primary way to win. And mechs are kind of like they're there, but it's all about the bombs. He did even wait for the top deck bomb, or did he concede after it? I don't know. Damn, dude. <laughs> 